I'm here at the Engineering Technology Group. I'm with my colleague Chloe. We're going to be looking at, uh, in detail, the Nakamura WT300, but more importantly, the applications that this machine can create, for example, like what we've got here. We'll talk about this in more detail in a minute. Before we do that, though, Chloe, maybe just give us a, a, a few seconds on the, on the WT300 itself as a machine. Definitely. So we know, we both know, that Nakamura are a huge new technology range of machine, and the WT300, the twin spindle, twin turret, high accuracy machine, is great for all industries, really, and it's just brand new technology for ETG to be showcasing. What does the WT, the points you make, what does that give? to a user you talk about the, t the technology the, the high performance what, so, what are the real added value parts so technology especially with the NT smart from Nakamura is absolutely fantastic so it can tool monitor it can workload monitor you can create programs while it's pre while it's actually running inside so having all that and being able to do that on the machine whilst it's running is it takes a lot of time to do that and also with the with the turrets sorry you've got 12 stations and 24 stations if you you want to half index so having that more capability on the machine is great because you can get more tools on there and you talk about some of these things but what are the real areas where you know, by having these additional tools and having this capability that you're really going to gain. Yeah, so having more tools on there doesn't just mean you can do more processes, but the cycle times can be cut down, the workload can be cut down, sister tooling, amazing, because it means you're not always in the machine changing the tools over. And obviously with this new software that Nakamura have got, you can, cut, you can work on the load, work on the tool life, so it's great for the user to be able to look back at that. And you can have conversations between the user and the machine. Okay, now what about this application then? Perfectly suited to the WT300, I have to say. I've just picked it I mean, this is I a, pick it re up. a real heavy, um, if I wasn't so good at weight training, I would struggle <laughs> with that. But that is a big bar to be feeding through a machine like this. Can, can a machine continually handle you know, feed it, because that's only a short version. We're talking about metre bars here. Can, how, how, how do you, I don't know, you know, the, the, the weight dampening all that yeah, out, how does it happen? I completely agree. I couldn't even pick it up for starters. So for a machine to be able to continuously feed this through on a regular basis is, is amazing. Also, if you have the bar coming through, we've also got two ops. So what we want to do is we want to be able to continuously feed without the machine feeling that, feeling that load and being able to run the process through. So what we've got is we've got some off center cutting here, we've got some milling on the Y axis, we've also got screw cutting, and then what we'll do is we'll part it off, and then what we'll be able to do is do some conventional milling on the front, some drilling, some grooving, and some threading. So to be able to do all these processes on this machine in one hit on the first spindle and then the second hit on the sub spindle is, is, is incredible. And, and are the quick wins though with something like this, are the ways that, because to me it would strike me that the important thing is you've got to balance out the the operations, there's no good in machining 90% on the front spindle and then just 10% on the back, is there? Is that part of the thought pattern? I completely get where you're coming from. What's the point in doing 90% load on the main spindle and then just doing 10%? Because if you do it like that as well, say this component is 12 minutes long, this cycle time, what's the point in doing 10 minutes on this side, two minutes on this side, when you could be doing six minutes on one spindle, six minutes on the other spindle. So which, what would, we, which would cut that cycle time down oh, massively. Oh yeah, definitely. And what we're doing is we're getting more parts off as the process and our tool life will be working better because we'll be using less load on the main spindle and spreading it out across the two spindles. So what we'll probably do is up to 50% and then up to 50% on the next spindle. So yeah, fantastic. What, what about though the metal cutting around here? Is this using the Y axis? Yeah, so this will be using the Y axis and obviously this is how it will be sat. So as it goes through, we'll be able to do the milling on the front and then what it will be doing, it's really actually fascinating to watch if you watch a video. And I'm sure if you wanted a demonstration, ETG will show you, but what we can do is we can off center cut with an end mill or something like that, or even a grooving tool. It's obviously different with the CAD CAM processes, but also we've got off center drilling as well. So having that having that capacity to do it on these machines is great. Yeah, because I mean, I'm thinking of that. This is like an off center uh, machining process. Yeah. It's, it's very strange. You don't see this all the time, is it? Mm. And for ETG to demonstrate this is great for the machine. I mean, the tool must be sort of doing this as the as the spindles as the spindles going rotating. round, and it must be moving conventionally, yeah. like off center, and moving. All but the together. surface finish is pretty good as well here. How do they achieve that? Is that a mixture of? the cutting tool, the coolants that you're yeah, using. Yeah, cutting tools, fluid, programming as well, using the speeds and feeds together to create this. If you use a too high speed with the tool, you're going to get a rubbish surface finish. So if you balance, it's lovely to 
it's really strange for me to say, but it's really lovely to hear. Using those speeds and fees in harmony is probably one of the best things that you it's could like hear. Music. It it's is, like it's music to your ears. And look at the surface finish on this, and it just looks like a great part. And for them to be able to do that, like you said, on one machine, two hits, phenomenal.